folks, the individuals who think that this is fun, who think this is uh, wonderful to, to scare or try to intimidate others, um, you will not scare us. We will stand strong no matter what. You have to look at the silver lining in this dark cloud at the moment. We're fortunate that what's come together, as Scott has said, is that we also have other elected officials here with us. We have State Representative Lyndon Carlson, we have State Senator Ann Rest, we have State Senator Linda Higgins as well. Uh, representatives, people representatives of not just Golden Valley, but also of North Minneapolis, of New Hope, of Crystal, of Robbinsdale. This is not just about Golden Valley, this is about our greater community. As a rabbi, as a Jew, I want to offer you, Rose, and your family this prayer. Hashkibenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom. Help us lie down, Adonai, our God, in peace, and let us rise again, our guardian delight. Spread over us your shelter of peace. And fold rose in the wings of your protection. We are very, very unhappy with the way she's been treated by the bank, not only Miss McGee, but other citizens here in our city. And so we're standing together, church, community, and other coalitions, to make sure that we put a stop to this kind of practice. I was working with them. I, I notified them immediately after I lost my job last summer to let them know what was going on. And as Dave mentioned earlier, it seemed like they were working with me. Mm -hmm. But then I learned about this thing called dual tracking, where in one hand, yes, we're talking to you and we're working with you. But on the other hand, we're going to go ahead and sell this right out from under you. And that's what happened with me. You know, we can change this world. As my, my experience as a mother, as a teacher, we can change this world one student at a time, one kid at a time. What our position is, is that they need to reverse the sheriff's sale, yes. Yes. issue her a new affordable mortgage, yes. and allow her to stay in the home as she has money. Yes. 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 say two other things really briefly. Mm. One, it's... I, I think that the question of whether city mortgage is directly linked to this act of vandalism is that's a tenuous question. I think I think what we what is probably more likely is that some hooligan, some crazy person saw that we were sticking up for Rose and Rose was challenging the bank and they decided to come after her. That's why I said this is these are two different struggles. They're they're linked. Our message to whoever did this is our community is stronger because of it and we're standing with Rose. Right. And our message to yeah. city is you need to deal fairly with Rose and let her keep her house. She's valuable to this community. She's beloved. She needs to stay here. That's the right. last yes. quick point is, um, what can we do? Uh, California just passed the Homeowner's Bill of R Rights, which yes. outlaws dual tracking. We're hoping that the Minnesota State Legislature will follow in its, in its tracks and, and follow that example. But thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you do. Where'd you live? Oh, yeah. Church.